I made my dark room. Okay, if this Jack Girl film is anything like Cal Calvar film, it's a, some type of a diazo salt uh, in a saran plastic film. When it's exposed to UV light, there's nitrogen molecules are formed. When it's heated, all the, the nitrogen collects into lots of tiny little bubbles. And when it cools, the bubbles are then trapped in place. And I believe that's what forms the image. The bubbles strongly scatter the light. If you look at it with reflected light, it appears opaque. Well, it looks kind of white. If, if it's backlit, then we can actually see the image. These are the two negatives that I used, right? This negative is for these two. This negative is for this one. Density range was around 1.20 for these two negatives, and the exposures were a minute. This one, the negative was a lot thinner. It had a density range of 0.57, and the exposure was only 26 seconds. Still it looks pretty decent. I haven't, I haven't looked at these on the computer yet. I will scan them in and I'll share them with you. But before I do that, I think I'm going to show you the actual process. As soon as I've exposed the film, I'm going to discard this hot water, put boiling hot water back in, lift up the beaker, put the film here, and place this over top. And it will in instantaneously, there will be an image. And I hold it on there for about eight seconds. I take it off and usually the film is stuck here, but I can peel it off the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to leave the water in there to warm up, and I'm going to expose the negative. Okay, I'm going to discard this water and pour in just boiled water. I'm going to take out the just exposed piece of film, and I'm going to put it underneath with the emulsion side up and we should get instant image which we do and I only leave it on here for about eight seconds that's probably good and yes it sticks to the bottom just peel it off okay here is the the contact print it's a positive because I remember a contact printed a negative and it's not too bad actually there's lots of detail it's interesting it's a different color these ones I did earlier I did these ones I did last night this one I just did now you can see the color is different I imagine that will shift now as far as fixing these go I should zap them with some UV light and I believe that kind of sets the nitrogen bubbles in place for good okay I just zap this one in my UV box for a minute. It is no longer that yellowish color. I wonder if it's been fixed then. I'm going to scan them in, see what they look like bigger, and I will share that with you.